Let's take this opportunity to have the cheers with the newlyweds. Uh, we have got to the late uh,
So, for all of y'all that don't know, I'm David's best friend and the best man. Uh, known him for about eight years now, and I can definitely say without a doubt, I've never met two other people that just kind of belong together. I feel like when you meet certain people, it's kind of interesting to see their journey, especially these two. Um, David, what can I say that hasn't already been said, man? Uh, I think you're adventurous and ambitious. As a best friend, we've always pushed each other to the limits. Um, we work out together, and even though that our like career goals are different, I definitely see you as like a point to like strive towards. 
I cannot wait to see how y'all develop as people and then see how this relationship develops. Y'all are some of the most inspiring people I can turn to as far as his friends, but also as admirers uh, love. And so, everybody, raise a toast to Mr. and Mrs. David Alvarez. Yeah. Cheers. So the light, because it was a uh, too much pain, uh, you know, having him for so many hours that I was actually going to the other side, and I saw flares of like stuff coming behind people. So I was actually going to the other side with him, and uh, that's when they rushed me, and then he was delivered. He was brought so. When I look, I'm like, how much she weighs? Nine pounds. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> and and when and when I when I look, I'm like, finally they're rushing me because you know it's a testimony when he was born, and and uh, so they're rushing me, and then he comes in less than two minutes and. A boy? <laughs> like, that's, that's my reaction after so many. A boy, and when I look at him, he smiles. Mm. And I say, Lord, he is your servant. He is yours. Because when I saw that, it was that sign that told me there's something special over here. And he is yours, and he will be your servant. And you do whatever. I like to dedicate my sons to God when they're born. <clears throat> and there he is. And I always pray for my sons that the Lord give him women that love God first. Because when a woman is connected to God, they're connected to other people. And when a woman serves, it's easy to serve. It's easy when that nature is in her. It's okay, nobody needs to call her, she serves. And that's what I saw in Danny. And, and, and you don't need to tell her, she just moves around and she does what she does. And I know she's a servant. And, and, and this is about serving each other. And, and she's an answer to my prayers because I say, Lord, now this is a time where you're going to put and you're going to align that woman for leading. And there she is, shining like a star over here. <laughs> and Didi has something special, like each of them have, because I know I always tell them they're exceptional, their hearts 
are so pure when it's about serving others and their goodness that they have in their hearts and Didi has that and Joshua and Isaac and I knew that God needed to put somebody special and that is Daddy so I'm so happy the, I was thinking over here this is the second day of my life the most ha happiest moment <laughs> when they were born and now when they have that person in their lives and they're starting that new chapter and I just so happy so I celebrate and cheers for them I know there's something I cannot wait for what God is gonna do in your lives as a couple as a you know pair for God you know now finally you are attuned and with him and with him you can do everything you can fulfill everything Amen. always count with God and he's there he's Emmanuel which means God is with us mm -hmm. so God bless you and when that say David that's a David that's what he is that he's David beloved <clears throat> it means beloved and, uh, and Daniel has to do with God is my judgment. So he has Daniel from a pastor, from a church in Allah. Let me match it over there. So, <laughs> and that's perfect for him. Daniel and Didi, I love you. And I'm there for you. And let's celebrate you. Cheers, health, love, and all the blessings from God for you. Well, I guess I have to make a toast too as a mom. Well, I speak as a mom today and as mothers we always are concerned about our kids. We want them to have a good life, to have the least pain as possible. <laughs> we want them to grow and, and learn but at the same time we don't want them to suffer also, but we know that growth comes from experiencing difficult things in life too. So, but Danielle is very special. I mean, she was always independent as a kid, as a little girl. We almost lost her. Um, it's a long story, but we were coming to um, Arizona from the Philippines and we were at the airport and she went ahead you know how at the gate they would call those with kids and those who are elderly? Well, she must have heard that, but she was like four, five years old, four maybe. So she must have heard that and thought, oh, that's me. <laughs> and then, so she went ahead inside the plane and here we were, all, uh, all my, my two sons and Caleb, um, we were still at the gate. <laughs> we, we had no idea that she was already inside the plane so I was forced frantic I was like where's Daniel and I remembered I, I don't know if I think it's, it's real I said I told you to hold your sister's hand never let her go because each one of them I gave that assignment you hold Caleb's hand you hold Daniel's hand <laughs> but I, I had to make a very, very serious decision at that point. Do we leave Daniel at the airport? <laughs> and we all take the plane? Or do we all uh, stay in the airport? And <laughs> for Daniel, somewhere. Well, so, if we left, I mean, if we did, if we stayed, we might not be able to come back here come I mean go to this come to the States that was our maybe our first and only opportunity and that was heavy on my heart because I wanted my kids to have a good life better life than what we had in the Philippines so I said okay I'm 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 and like a lot of scenarios were playing in my head so I said one scenario would be someone would see Daniel like a loving person and would ask her what's your name Oh, are you alone? What's your parents' name? And those she could answer. And then maybe that person would say, okay, let's go find the police. Let's go find your parents. Let's 
you know, there, and remember there was no social media back then. <laughs> so that I said, well, that could happen. And I said, well, I'm gonna, we're gonna take the, we're gonna be in the, on the plane. And then as soon as they're in California, because that's our, our stop was California, I'm going to go back and, and look for her at the airport. I said, that's what I'm gonna do. But we went, we, okay, let's go. I said, kids, let's go. And we went inside and looked where she was, right? At the very front, like at the business class. <laughs> Watching the big TV in front of her. And she was just doing this. And she looked so happy. She was so happy. Well, she told us she was very happy that she, was, she had the TV by herself. But, um, so I probably wouldn't be able to forgive myself if, we never found her. Like if she wasn't inside the plane, I don't know what I would do. But I'm so glad that it's a happy ending. Yes. And, and happier now that she found she found uh, the love of her life, David. I remember when I met David for the first time. It was at the farm. And first thing I noticed about him was his happy countenance. Like his face was just happy. You know, he was not like he was just I guess radiant. Something like he was always smiling, and I, I said, I love his teeth, you know. <laughs> and and then so we got to talking, and you know, back then he was, oh, he was just not just, but he, they were just oh, work co workers. And so when we left the farm, and I wasn't, I, I didn't have the chance to say goodbye to him, I felt bad leaving without saying bye to David, whom I had a good conversation just a while ago. So I texted Daniel, I said, Daniel, could you please say, to David, I'm sorry that I wasn't able to say bye to him. So I guess that's how, like, m the first meeting with David, like, uh, I was impressed with how a good conversationalist he was and how he was just a positive, he carried a positive spirit. And so when eventually we found out that he was the boyfriend, I said, oh, okay, <laughs> that's fine with me. <laughs> so to David and Daniel for, um, long lives together <laughs> and just uh, healthy in all areas of life yes. <laughs> just working together building life together and we're here to support you we all love you and you can count on us for anything we love you guys Everlasting to everlasting. Why? 
grace and strength It's sufficient for you And when you call upon